Esteemed fellow Dungeon Masters, this is how you run combat in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Alright, so if we're going to run some sweet, sweet combat, first up we're going to need a map. So we're going to go over to our images, we're going to do a search for the map that we're looking for. Here we have it. Now we're going to open up the combat tracker, throw our players down on the map, so this red skull will place them there. Um, if you need to, if you don't have players in the combat tracker yet, you just go to PCs and drag them over, or I believe you can also drag their portraits over from the top left into the combat tracker. Okay, now we could go straight into the NPCs and do a search and just toss NPCs in. So maybe we'll just throw in an Aboleth. You can also use pre-made encounters, so I will just grab one that I already made and then when you have an encounter you just press this button to add the enemies um, into the combat tracker and if you want to randomly generate an encounter you can do a search in tables for encounters here this is a desert encounter so we'll roll, roll on this table there we have it We've randomly generated one based off of the table. We can add this to the combat tracker. So now you can add the enemies to the map, dragging and dropping this red skull. They're transparent. This means that they're currently invisible to the players. You can either reveal them one by one by clicking the little eyeball icons or uh, hide or reveal all of them. Then obviously place them wherever they should be. And with that, it's time for combat to start. So you can have each of your players go into their character sheets and roll for initiative. As you can see, it's blank. Now that initiative has been set, anytime the initiative changes, um, the combat tracker will automatically put them in the correct order. So you can have your players roll for their initiative, uh, or you can roll for all of them. So you could roll all the initiatives, just the NPCs, uh, or just the PCs and you can also clear all initiatives. So here we'll just roll all initiatives. Alright, so the player would go, then once the player has finished uh, their turn, you would go down to this next actor button. So now we have the fire fist, the camera should automatically center on whoever's turn it is. And here you'll see that these entries are very long in the combat tracker. If you know the the NPC pretty well, you can just run straight off of this. So for example, if this Fire Fist is going to cast Guiding Bolt, you could just do that. Um, or you could also open up the character sheet, either from the combat tracker with this link, or by double-clicking your NPC. And then from this uh, you have all their information so if they need to do checks or saves you just click that button right here. You can also roll their skills straight from here. If they, have, if they have spells, there's a breakdown of their spell casting. For their actions, whenever you see highlighted text, that means Fantasy Grounds has parsed it, and you can uh, double click that or drag and drop it. And then we'll have all of their spells and their spell slots. You can change their number of spell slots as you progress through combat and cast spells. And then you can also use the parsed text um, for their spells. As each of your NPCs and the players take their turns, you can just cycle through combat. If you accidentally go too far and you want to back up a step, 
these little circles uh, show whose turn it is, you can just single click that and it will take you, uh, it will place you at a different spot in the initiative order and uh, go back to someone else's turn or jump ahead to someone else's turn. Alright, so for casualties on the battlefield, so I've opened up the wizard. So you can see we're going to roll some damage. It's going to disintegrate this fire fist. And now on the combat tracker, um, he's run out of hit points, he's dead. As soon as that happens, you'll see that this link changes to a deletion button. And you can just double click that button to remove the NPC from the battlefield and from the combat trackers. So they will be completely gone. So now you can see that under the wizard effects, it says that uh, she is charmed. If something changes and that effect disappears, what you can do is press the effects button to show that below, even outside of their turn. And you can press this delete button to remove that effect. If you need to apply an effect that is not built into someone's character sheet or you just want to do it really quickly, you can press this effects button to bring up the effects and just drag and drop it over onto uh, the affected player or NPC. Okay, so let's say that we've gone through combat, all of the enemies have been defeated, or maybe this combat has ended early for some reason. What you can go is go to the menu, um, go to delete from tracker. You can choose to delete all non-friendly, which will uh, delete neutral enemies or neutral NPCs as well or delete only foes. Click that. It removes uh, all the enemies from the combat tracker. You're now good to go. And then once your party takes a long rest from the combat tracker, you can go to rest and choose either a short rest or a long rest. So we can see that some of them have taken some wounds. We'll do a long rest and all those wounds have been uh, removed and all of the spell slots have been cleared. All right, so that pretty much sums it up for running combat as a game master. So if you're thinking, we didn't really go into much detail for how these combat mechanics work in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Um, I actually have a separate video for that. It also focuses on how the players engage in combat, which obviously you would want to know. Um, so feel free to check out the description of this video for a link to that video. Hope this was helpful and happy adventuring.